Hi there, I'm Beth Ramsden and this week I'll be creating an entire Easter themed outfit to send to one of my friends here on YouTube. I'm collaborating with Dolls Rescued, Peace Lovecraft Dolls, J Dolls UK and Creative 404 and we're all making outfits to send so be sure to check out their links in the description box below and see what they make and receive. You can see me sketching out a bit of a plan. I'll make a bunny eared hat, a basket for Easter eggs, a dress and some shoes too. I'll be posting these to Tammy at Peace Love Craft Dolls. Starting with the hat, I'm going to needle felt it. I wrap Blythe's head in cling film, then draw on lines where I want there to be joins in the felt. With the template transferred to paper, I then cut it out in pink felt. I have a good colour match with this wool roving, so I tease some out and lay it over my felt. I stab the wool into the felt and use it to join the seams together. This gives me a seamless look that will blend perfectly with the ears later. Next, I cut a paper bunny ear shape, then cut two of these shapes from felt. I stab pink wool into the shapes to thicken them and build up the edges so that they'll stand up straight. I choose a contrasting colour of wool for the insides of the ears. Then I felt oval shapes separately. With a single felting needle, I carefully join the two pieces. I felt at a shallow angle so as not to have the lighter colour protrude from the back. With scissors, I trim away any flyaway fibres from the sides and the back of the ears. I work out where to position my ears and then use some more pink wool to join the ears to the hat all around. Here's them both attached. I really like how it came out. You could add so many extras to a hat like this. Next, I'll create a basket for Blythe to carry her little Easter eggs in. I'm going to crochet one using a natural beige colored yarn. I'm using a three millimeter hook. Starting with a slip stitch, I then chain nine. I make a single crochet stitch in the second loop from the hook. I continue along the chain, working one stitch into each loop. In the last loop, I add an extra stitch, so there are two stitches in one loop. Then I continue to work more single stitches into the other side of the initial chain. Thank you. 
I single crochet into the first stitch I had made, making two stitches in one loop again, and then join that to the first stitch using a slip stitch. This creates the bottom of the basket, and now I can build up the sides. I chain one, then begin working single crochet stitches into each stitch from the previous round. I loop around and around, building up the sides of the basket until it's at a depth that I'm happy with. To finish off, I simply slip stitch and cut, pull the tail through the slip stitch and then pull the end through to the inside to hide it. For the strap of the bag, I create a chain. I didn't count the stitches, I just checked the length against my doll. Then I started to make slip stitches back along the length of the chain. I cut and pull the tail through the last stitch, then sew the strap to the basket to finish it off. I've looked out some Easter ribbon to make some cute bows with, and some different colours of felt to create the Easter egg designs from my sketch. These are simply cut with scissors, then fabric glued to the front of the basket. It's looking super cute. Here are the little ribbon bows I made. I've sewn one to the hat and one to the basket, and I'll use the other one soon. Now I'm going to use this basic A-line dress pattern that I already had and I added a collar to. I've looked out these bright cotton fabrics to use. The pink for the collar and the blue for the dress. I've cut a white cotton piece for the lining and I've pieced together sections of the blue fabric so that the centre front pattern is straight. I've also traced my collar pattern onto the pink cotton with a second piece underneath. I'll sew it first like this. Then I trim with pinking shears and turn it through. I've pressed it flat and I will temporarily stitch it to the dress here. I flip it over, right sides facing to the lining piece. Then I will sew from this short lower hem round the back centre neckline, back centre to the other lower hem. Then I'll stitch round both the armholes and finally the front lower hem. These four side seams are left open. That's done, so now I'll trim down my seam allowance, snip my curves and turn the dress through. Using my hemostat tool, I pull the two back sections through the shoulders like this. Then I can flip the front section right side out. I press it all flat, 
and now I can flip the sides over to the front, line up these edges and I'll sew these side seams and zigzag them too. There we go. I can turn this out and press it again. I'll finish it off with some velcro and a snap fastening at the top. It looks adorable, the colours are so cute and retro. I want to include a belt, so I'm going to use one of the Easter ribbon bows with pink ribbon and a tiny metal belt buckle. I'll sew the ribbon around the centre part of the buckle and cut and singe the other end of the ribbon at the right length. Sew on the bow and it's done! I think it's a lovely detail for the dress and it ties everything together with these bows. And it can also be used after Easter without the belt. Now what's next? Shoes! I've made these same style of shoes in a few videos now, so I'll whiz through to the decorating. Check out my Valentine's outfit video for a closer look at this process. I fabric glue thin ribbon to the front first to cover these seams. Then I carefully glue and shape the ribbon to match the curve and snip and glue at the centre back. I glue on these blue heart-shaped gems to match the dress colours and they're done! Here's my Easter outfit so far. I think I'll use these ribbon bows to make a couple of hair clips. I have these tiny Kirby grips that I combine with felt scraps to glue to the bows. There. Now, are we finished? <laughs> no. Surprise Easter Bunny! No Easter is complete without a cuddly bunny to hug. They even fit in the basket. Tammy's Blythe will be able to carry this bunny everywhere. Here's a closer look. I just made this up as I went along using very basic shapes in a ragdoll style. The arms are sewn on through the shoulders so they can swivel up and down and the head even turns a little too. I just remembered that I had this soft furry fabric and then I got carried away. I even put one of the bows on their ear. There we have it then, an Easter outfit with a bunny-eared hat, egg basket, dress with a belt, shoes, hair clips and a cuddly bunny toy to squeeze. I'm going to package these all up safely to send to Tammy and then I'll be waiting to see what Marna at Dolls Rescued sends me in return. Stay tuned until the end to see her outfit modelled on one of my Blythes. Don't forget the other channels involved in our collaboration too. Jay from J Dolls UK and Alexandra from Creative 404 will be sending and receiving mystery packages too. So exciting! If you want to see what my whole outfit looks like together, then you'll have to check out Tammy's video. Hey guys! Okay, so the good news is Tammy has received her parcel safe and well, so be sure and check out her video to see what my Easter outfit looks like on her Blythe doll. Unfortunately, Marna's package hasn't arrived here yet from Dolls Rescued, so I'm going to have to wait a little longer. I will record and put out an update video as soon as I get it, so you will get to see Marna's lovely makes uh, modelled on one of my dolls. So in the meantime, be sure and check out all the other collaborators' videos. Their links are down below. Be sure and like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you very much again for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye!